Okay, I mean Habar. 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 Yeah. Uh, and you're, you, you were with the Occupy Ottawa from the start? I was, yeah, I was with Occupy Ottawa. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how many days have you been uh, camping there? I was there since day one. Okay. And I was also doing some stuff online before that. So uh, people are wondering what are were you uh, what have you been doing since uh, since the movement uh, since since you got kicked out of the of the park. We've been doing everything like normal, just without the camp. We've been having our GAs, our meetings, planning our actions, and doing what we're still doing what we were doing. It's just there's no camp involved this time. Okay. Are you thinking of? coming back? We actually have a committee that's planning and looking at the different options of what we might do. Mm. Uh, you were talking about uh, maybe earlier uh, earlier about spring. Is that a, a strong possibility? Yeah. Okay. Um, what other actions are you working on right now? We're working on some stuff related to Winterlude. We've got various campaigns about housing and other stuff that we're planning to do stuff against about. Uh, are you still as strong as you were when the, when you had the camp? Yes, the thing with the camp is we had lots of people who would stay there. We were helping a lot of people, but without the camp, all the, most of the people were still there. It's just people who were there just for the food or whatever aren't there now, so we're actually getting a lot more work done. Is it uh, difficult though to keep people involved since because that was a very visible uh, way of having your presence uh, noted. Most of us are online anyway so we're still getting the information. Some of us took breaks because they were burnt out but they keep coming back and we still have a pretty strong group. And what do you think about the, the fact that some other uh, Occupy movement are coming back mm. and occupying again? Mm. I think it's good. It all depends on the weather too, because over here it's too cold to even set up a tent right now, so we have to wait until it melts, until it gets warmer. And when you see uh, Winterlude there, people have been talking to you about mm. Winterlude that was supposed to occupy the, the, mm. the site where you were. Does that make you uh, uh, laugh or is it special to you? <laughs> That's the thing, they didn't use any, all the space that we were in, they didn't use and all the stuff they told us not to do, like tie things to trees and where to put the toilets and all that, they did that themselves anyway. <laughs> That's uh, mm. ironical. Yeah. That would be the word. Mm. So, how many people do you think Occupy Ottawa has, you know, uh, as a, a network here in Ottawa? I'm not too sure right now because I personally don't use Facebook. I'm on the main website, but I, I can't really answer that myself. So. And you're having a meeting right now. Uh, yeah. You're, you're planning uh, new stuff. Yeah, we're actually getting ready to have our media meeting, and hopefully, more people will arrive in the next few minutes. Okay. And you've been meeting regularly? Yeah, every... Since you're go uh, gone? Yep, every Tuesday we meet for our media meetings and we have a bunch of other meetings on Tuesday too. And then other days there are different meetings. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So that, that has been uh, quite active. Yeah. Okay. What, what, yep. is, is it, what is we're, ha we're putting up our show. I it's pretty much across from Umi Cafe. I don't know the exact, like I don't have the address memorized, but we're putting up show, we're selling art and putting up a show and doing stuff for Occupy. Oh, okay. All right. So where could I get that info?